is one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the take for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more, Ladies and Bruce gentlemen, Buffett. this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Yves LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 245 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, Washington, Monster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice punch, Lance. Couple of chins here being tested early. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Right under the elbow by the kick landed. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Just misses with that one. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. as 
many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, connects with the one-two. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Well placed kick there by Lee. Huge block there. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. I mean, it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, nice. Oh! Stu's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh, he might be out. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, man, head kick lands. Sounds defensively blocks the shot. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, he just keeps landing one devastating head kick after the next. Can you explain to me how his opponent is still standing? Unbelievable, the toughness on the other side. It's very tricky when he throws that ball. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Get him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Round two is underway. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. Big call to punch land. Now we get back to range. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, roundhouse kick. That's a big strike right there. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Nice job by him there to slip that off. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Good spin. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Get in and attack that leg hard with that kick now. Let's go, guys, work. That was a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get picked. He gets up, but the question is for how long he looks wobbly. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice body kick. playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Down into his mouth. 15 seconds. Now the guy's got on He's attacking it on So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. 
Able to check the high kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Nice head kick. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Punch over the top. Oh, nice. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Clutch right hand is true. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like... Oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that last shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses with a left hook there. Great punch. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Just over three minutes to go. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just misses with the straight right. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Trying to find the range to counter with that kick, but misses there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Blocks that strike. Big leg kick land. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by Monster! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.